Now, buddy, this is the Embraer E-190 jet. And did you know that this airplane is the quickest airliner that's flying around nowadays? It's nearly as powerful as the Concorde. I didn't know that. You know, a week ago, I started talking a little bit about the A340 and that it has a very, very low thrust to weight ratio, very little power. The A340s have a thrust to weight ratio of around 0.18 to 0.19er, which once again makes these airplanes extremely, extremely slow. Airplanes usually have a way, way higher thrust to weight ratio than this 0.18. The 767, for example, has 0.29. The 777-300ER has three and the sports plane of the skies that we talked about a lot before the 757 has a thrust to weight ratio of 0.34 and we already know that that is overpowered the concorde obviously has 0.37 to 0.38 with the afterburners but the embraer sits right in the spot has a thrust to weight ratio of 0.35 on the e2 version this thing is incredible sometimes i love being on professional pilot forums to look at you know pilots talk about the airplanes they fly and even here the e190 is known as notoriously overpowered it doesn't use much runway either for taking off or landing you are not the slowest person in the sky at all i mean it makes sense for example the new the e2 version of the e190 uses the pratt and whitney 1000 engine which is funny because the a320 neo uses the same engines with a bit more thrust rating for sure but the a320 neo is a lot bigger than an e-jet that fits not a lot of people but not only does the thing have fast engines it has very quick brakes as well apparently this pilot set here it is amazing how short you can stop the bird and even full house carbon brakes do a great job so this is interesting how about we do some test flying on the e-jet indeed i mean here we are in the cockpit now what i'm gonna try doing is set our weight to relatively low maybe 60,000 pounds is there a few weight maybe few of only a thousand pounds so we are completely empty indeed we can weigh almost twice as much which is crazy the span between the empty weight and the maximum weight really is huge this thing could basically carry itself it's like an and that can carry like you know three times it's weight you know what i mean this airplane is probably really fun to fly as pilots you don't really struggle to fly out of anywhere let's go uh full power we are now in london city by the way the e195 is the biggest airplane to be allowed to fly here you know and that says a lot i really want to see well, how much room do we use here can we just fly anywhere i mean we are london city which is a place where this airplane flies in real life but it's just insane oh i'm on the tail strike there look we can do a vertical we can do a vertical takeoff on the e1 oh wow okay pause definitely positive rate this airplane flies nicely it's relatively forgiving yep there's definitely a reason why the london city airport which is in the middle of london indeed is pretty much called the embraer airport because these airplanes just do it so well here but i mean after all we have got 1500 meters of runway that's not short at all let's try something on the shoulder or perhaps something crazier this right here is telluride airport this is one of the highest airports in the united states we're at 11 000 feet right now all right what i like here is this airplane can also do crazy approaches it can stop quickly once again we've got crazy brakes this thing this thing flies great let's go and see if we can fly to 108 knots that's because of our weight by the way of course I mean, this is not a realistic flying that we're doing we're kind of just testing what this airplane could be capable of if there was just us in the plane and no one else all right let's go and put her down yeah this thing Sends quickly. Look at how quickly we're descending. One, Holy moly. Yeah, very London City made. 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, there we go. We've landed. Which is apparently a hard thing to do. This airplane is pretty hard to butter. Um, so that doesn't matter. As, fa as long as we stop quickly. Which we definitely are able to. That was a pretty quick stop right there on the E-Jet. I mean, look at all the spoilers coming out right here. Not bad at all. I think we're really ready for some short runways now. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been talking a lot about, you know, London City now. But what about Toronto's Billy Bishop City Airport, which is right in front of us? Let's go and put the landing gear down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very loud. This thing is 1,200 meters of runway. Actually, genuinely short. We need to go here in real life. I mean, look at this. Either way, let's put the flaps down fully and see. Maybe the E-Jet could genuinely fly here, you know? We now have quite the descent here into this airport, but this is fine. All good. Why did they steal the DPWS call-outs from Boeing, though? That I don't get. All right, it's going to be a hard landing, but, you know, the E-Jet generally does that quite a lot. 20, 10. 
Okay, there we go. Now let's go full power into the braking. Yes, reverse thrust. Yeah, I mean, this plane stops very quickly. This is a very realistic mod or model, but it's not like we're stopping in no time. I think we will find runways that we will struggle at. You know, we need to really move it on now. Let's move it over to an 850 meter long runway. All right, we are now on East Frisian Island. Landing gear down, look at this. Yeah, KLM, let's see if they could fly to an island like this. I mean, the shortest runway the E-190 flies to is just 1.3 kilometers long. That's by the way, Santos Dumont here in Rio de Janeiro. So this, uh, I don't know, this might be a problem. I don't know, let's see. All right, all's well. Well, we can say, well, it notices that the airport is there. All right, very steep again. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh, wow. What a landing that was. But no problem, probably. Hope, maybe, hopefully. Because, yes, we are able to stop just fine indeed. Question is, um, can we take off again? By the way, this airplane, like, the power response is crazy. <laughs> they just don't really take a long time to spool up. Let's see if we can able, uh, let's see if we can take off. Let's put the flaps to, like, five or so. Good. This is probably going to work. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at this. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Once again, we're running without any passengers, but still, this is crazy. Well, then it's time to move on. All right, then. You know what time it is. This is St. Barth. This is 600 meters of runway. Landing gear down. Yeah, this might be actually, we might be able to do this. This might work. All right, we're looking good. We're very low on speed. All right, come on. Looking good. And, okay. That was a normal landing. No problem. But when we go full power into the stopping, this is the, look, we're stopping. Ah! That was the quickest stop I've ever seen here. <laughs> That's actually insane. All right, so let's do a full power into the engines right now. Yeah, oh, look at this acceleration. This is crazy. Flaps are set to one. Looking good. All right, all right. Pulling up the nose. Oh, very Neo tail strike. That is just insane. We can put the landing gear up uh, immediately. Yes, this, uh, this airplane is actually pretty insane. <laughs> Who would have thought? We can go lower than, than 600 meters. Um, I mean, yeah. Kind of the ultimate challenge. This is Saba. We can now uh, reverse thrust and see if we can, like, take off. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Let's use every inch of this runway. And I'm saying literally every single inch. A little more. A little bit more. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Oh, that was a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Let's go full power. Let's go. Take off. Sorry. We're using every single inch, though. Uh, this is fine. So, yeah, looking good. The engines are advancing in power. Yes, and we've freed ourselves. This is actually the perfect static takeoff. Nothing to worry about. Now, let's go ahead and slowly add in some flaps right there. Actually, all the flaps. And we are definitely going to be able to take it. This is no problem. Genuinely. I'm not kidding. No problem at all. Look. <laughs> Yes! This airplane is perfect! This is great! I'm a tad bit worried about being able to land here, though. That would be actually insane. I mean, we've been able to land in the Microsoft Flight Simulator quite a lot of different, bigger planes, but the X-Plane does it realistically. Like, this is generally believable. All right, so let's see if we can land this. I mean, it's pretty interesting to like, see the insanely low speeds that we can fly at. Like, 80 knots is actually not really a problem with our very reduced weight. One more power. We're very slow now. How does the airliner Minimum. that fits Minimum. so many people fly so slowly? That's just insane. All right, get ready for an extremely hard landing now. Sorry about that. Oh. Wow, that was hard. That was hard, but reverse thrust. Yes! And the thing is now, I, I don't know what to do next, because this is like the shortest runway I can find. Everybody, the ERJ-190. You know, the question is, how powerful is too powerful? I don't know. I don't care. This thing is actually, this is, uh, this is crazy. Very, very, very versatile, this jet airliner. Look at how we're building up speed. We can probably take off here now. Still, nearly. Okay. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching this overpowered video. I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.